Hello, welcome to the Bible Takeaway, where you can expect to snack on the who, what and when of a particular Bible filling. For dessert, you have an option of a few quiz questions to help your digestion of the content. This is a Bible summary of 2 Samuel. The second book of Samuel follows on from the first. In the original Hebrew composition, 1 and 2 Samuel were one book. But as scribes translated the Hebrew Old Testament into Greek, the content of Samuel was divided into two books. It's still the time of the United Kingdom. What to expect in 2 Samuel? Well, it's the highs and lows of King David. He brings the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem, but commits adultery and has all kinds of trouble with his son Absalom. The key people in 2 Samuel are David, Nathan, Bathsheba and Absalom. For a key passage, try 2 Samuel chapter 7 verses 8 to 11. Now then, tell my servant David, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I took you from the pasture, from tending the flock, and appointed you ruler over my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you have gone, and I have cut off all your enemies from before you. Now I will make your name great, like the names of the greatest men on earth. And I will provide a place for my people Israel, and will plant them so that they have a home of their own and no longer be disturbed. Wicked people will not oppress them any more as they did at the beginning, and have done ever since the time I appointed leaders over my people Israel. I will also give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord declares to you that the Lord himself will establish a house for you. In summary, chapter 5. David is anointed king over Israel. He takes Jerusalem and the Lord is with him. The Philistines gather, but David defeats them. Chapter 6 David brings the Ark of the Covenant from Judah. Uzzah touches it and dies. As it comes into the city, David dances before the Lord. Chapter 11 David lays with Uriah's wife Bathsheba and she falls pregnant. He tells Joab to have Uriah killed in battle. David marries Bathsheba. Chapter 13 David's son Amnon sends for his half-sister Tamar and rapes her. Tamar's brother Absalom has his servants kill Amnon and then he flees. In chapter 15, Absalom goes to Hebron and sends out spies to proclaim him the new king. David flees, but he tells Zadok and Hushai to return to Jerusalem. In chapter 18, the servants of David defeat Israel. Absalom gets stuck in a tree and Joab kills him. Ahimaaz and a Cushite run to tell David. In chapter 24, David numbers the people of Israel and then regrets it. The Lord sends a plague. David buys Arona's field and makes offerings. So what's the takeaway from 2 Samuel? Well, even if it looks like we're doing well, we need to be careful not to give in to temptation. God can use us despite our faults, but there may be ugly consequences. And now, a quick quiz. Question 1. Uzzah immediately died after touching what sacred object? Question 2. 
question two. Who was Bathsheba's husband? Question three. Who was obsessed with Tamar? Question four. Who tried to replace David as king? Question five. Where was Absalom found? Question six. How did 70,000 Israelites die? Question seven. What did David buy with 50 shekels of silver? And question eight. How many chapters make up 2 Samuel? And now the answers. Uzzah touched the Ark of the Covenant. It was Uriah who was married to Bathsheba. And Amnon obsessed over Tamar. David's son Absalom tried to replace him as king. Answer five. Absalom was found in a tree before being killed. And a plague from the Lord killed 70,000 people. And David bought Arona's field with the shekels. And 2 Samuel has 24 chapters. And there you go. If you have a different takeaway or a personal favourite key passage, please feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.